Hi everyone, I'm Dr. G. Uh, I'm a polymath doctor um, who has spent a bulk of my career innovating at the cutting edge of technology inside of health. I now spend a bulk of my time uh, thinking about the intersection of healthcare and real estate, and I'll explain that uh, in a second. But I first want to start off with a story. This is a photo of my father. He was diagnosed with a rare form of Alzheimer's in, in 2012. It was called Lewy body dementia, where your motor capacity deteriorates faster than your cognitive capacity, and it's, it's almost like being trapped in your own body. Um, it's a really horrible con condition. And so I became the primary caretaker when his disease progressed and my parents decided to move in with me. And so as a, as a medical doctor, we got him the best clinical care that you could get, right? He had great access, great treatments. We were up to date on the diagnostics. Um, but what I quickly realized is most of his outcomes and his quality of life was tethered to how he navigated inside our home, where, we spelt a bulk, where he spent a bulk of his time. And so I looked for resources and outlets to find out where can I get answers to some of the questions that I have? And there was nothing there. Things like, uh, when do you put a shower bar um, in, inside the shower so he doesn't fall? When is he at fall risk? Are there digital health tools that we can utilize uh, to, to notify us if he falls? Are there things that we can put on our doors if he's at flight risk? And track his movements uh, to ensure that he's safe when we're not home? Um, are there things that we can do from a lighting perspective, from a materials, from colors, from sound, so that when he experiences sundowning or agitation in the evening, we can address those appropriately? Are there things that we can maneuver around the house and create patterns of recognition that are familiar to him so he's not tripping um, on the rugs or things that we put in his path? Are there ways that we can create social connection so that he feels included as part of uh, the, the, uh, the conversation. So these are all questions that when I looked around were not being addressed anywhere in our healthcare systems. And clearly doctors did not have the answers to all of this stuff. And so I realized that if I was having these questions, millions of other folks were having similar questions, not just for conditions like Alzheimer's or dementia, but things like migraines, sleep disorders, uh, asthma, arthritis, and, and, and a dozen other conditions. And so I've made it my mission uh, to help manage, prevent, and reverse chronic illnesses by applying the science of healthy design to our homes. Now, just a quick show of hands in the room. I'm curious, how many of you guys know of an individual um, who's living with a chronic illness at home? Just a quick show of hands. Yeah, almost, almost everyone in this room, and that's not really surprising. When we look at the data, uh, roughly 64% of adults in the United States are living with one or more chronic condition. And of that, 42% are living with two or more chronic conditions. And this is becoming um, a, a, a worsening crisis over time. Uh, we, we heard a lot of things over the uh, past couple of days uh, that were shared by um, you know, Ken and talking about the age wave as well. Um, what's also interesting is that when you, when you look at uh, the post-pandemic information on where we spend our time, 91% of our time is spent indoors. And of that, 76% of that is spent inside of our own homes. That's astonishing. And then you combine that with the rising cost of what chronic conditions um, cost us in this, in this country, it's out of control. I mean, this is gonna bankrupt our country. And so we need to move upstream in order to solve the problem. And I believe health begins in the home. So if our habits are formed by how we inhabit our homes and we've designed sickness into our lives, then we can design our way out and create a healthier lifestyle. And so I created an organization called The Well Home. And it's very simply interior design for people who are living with chronic health conditions. Like I said, it sits at the intersection of healthcare and real estate. And I said, I'm a polymath, not only my doctor, I'm also a certified interior designer, and I'm also a real estate professional. This is one of my favorite images. This you, it may look familiar to some of you. This is actually a 90-year calendar life in weeks. It was created by Tim Urban, who's a famous blogger. Um, he writes this blog called Wait But Why. And each one of these boxes represents a week of our life. Now, I was really fascinated by this chart, not because when you look at it and see where you fall into, into your life and how much limited time you have left, but I looked, this as, looked at this and said, where do we interact with our healthcare system within this 90-year calendar life of weeks? And so non-scientifically, I just took a little stab and I added these little red boxes, and you, can, you could probably 
I guess that you know, once you're born, you obviously you're, you're inside the healthcare system. You're pretty healthy for, for most of your uh, young adult population. Maybe you get a couple of check-ins. Midlife, you start to see a couple of more red boxes where you get a couple of scares and engage with the healthcare system. And if you're lucky enough to, 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 to reach your 70s or 80s, um, you're gonna be engaging with the healthcare system a lot. And as somebody who's been an innovator um, and driving innovation in the healthcare space, most of our innovation is focused around those red boxes. But health doesn't happen when we enter our healthcare system. Health is what happens in the in-between moments. And so I like to say that health is a story over time, not a point in time. And that's what the Well Home is actually trying to address, is those moments in between where we're spending a bulk of our time living with chronic conditions when our healthcare system abandons us. So how are we doing this? Um, we've created, uh, we spent uh, a year or so building out and digging into the science. And it's, it's quite frankly, there's not that much science. I'm really excited about some of the work that Thomas Getz is doing with, with Building H. Um, but we went through uh, hundreds of different scientific articles, looked at the research, spoke to a number of architects, we even looked at all the health risk assessments and home inspection assessments, and we created uh, a database of roughly four to 500 questions that we think can be applied to roughly, at this point, 25 conditions that we're looking at. And then we deploy that in the form of a health home inspection. You've probably heard of a home inspection. This is a health home inspection that uh, looks at your home to see if it's a, a good fit for your chronic condition that you're living with. So that's what we're doing right now. And I'm really excited, you know, fresh off the press, we just struck partnerships with uh, two of the largest real estate brokerage houses in the country, uh, Sotheby's and Douglas Elliman. And so they're essentially uh, getting us inside the front door of people's homes so that we can take a look and ensure uh, that they're well taken care of for their chronic condition. What's coming near and what's coming next? We're building the first trade marketplace of health-related goods that both our customers as well as interior designers, architects, builders um, can essentially access and incorporate into their homes. And then we're actually building out, as far as next, an expert committee um, looking to see how we can reimagine how we live in neighborhoods and in communities. And are there things that we can learn from the blue zone cities uh, around the world and apply that to how we live in our neighborhoods? And we look at it across six different areas, sleep, movement, nutrition, mindfulness, uh, social connection, and the environment. Uh, so I'll leave it with that. Uh, there's a lot more to talk about, but if you want to stay up to date, we're in a sort of a limited release uh, program right now, but you're welcome to come to the site, add in your email. If you want to connect with you, we're looking for pol col collaborators, partners. Um, any ideas that you might have, please reach out. I'm going to be here all day. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. G.